again. Welcome to today's attempt at a new puzzle to the channel, the Sedicordal. This is basically 16 wordles at once. So there might be a lot of scrolling up and down the page, so bear with me. Um, but we'll see how quickly I can solve it. You can see, even though there's 16 puzzles to solve, we only get 21 total guesses. So this might be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see how we get on. I'm going to start with Inert Chaos. That's my go-to a pair of words to get 10 different starting letters and then I feel like we should be cooking with gas from then on. So, I mean that first one in particular, we've got loads. It feels like we should be able to work out what that word is. Great or treat in fact spring to mind, so I don't know what it is. In fact, one we're definitely going to have to come back to. This one feels like brain or grain, so that's a 50-50 as well, at best, that's a bit annoying. Here we've only got loads of yellows, yellows, uh, right, what about this one? South, I think I'm going to go for south, because we've got a few more guesses to spare, haven't we? And this tests the remaining vowel, which should be a good plan, even if it's wrong. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be wrong like that. What can that third letter be? Can't be another O, surely. Soothe is spelled with an E on the end, isn't it? Uh, S O. Okay, I'm convinced that it's going to be soothe. Maybe that's how it's spelled in America. I'll come back to it because I'm sure I'll need to put the O in third for one of the other guesses. So then we'll know for sure whether it should be green on that one. Right, this one, that's going to be donut. Oops. Right, we've got one down. One down, 15 to go, and 17 total guesses. So we've still got two bits of leeway. That one's going to be diced, probably, or dicey. Again, I'm not confident enough, so we'll go back to the top. This still could be treat or great. This one, we've finally got a U, but not a whole lot else. Brain or grain? Ah, that one. That is going to be handy, and that is very handy because it tests for Y as well. Hopefully a lot of the other words have got Ys in. We'll go back to the top. Hasn't taught me anything there. This one, no A, E, I, O, or Y. So it's probably bluff. Could be plump. Actually, there's, there's, a, there's a couple of answers there then, aren't there, which have no <laughs> real letters in common apart from Yell. So we're definitely not going to guess that one. Um, that could still be brain or grain. That one only has a what, uh, an I in it. So spill, possibly, but again we'll come back to that. This one has no vowels apart from the Y. I reckon Riley. I reckon. I've got, oh I've got still two bits of leeway. I'm confident enough to go for that. A relief. I was confident to go for it, but I, I still <laughs> I wasn't that confident. <laughs> um, right, that, the Y can't be last, so it's going to be first, so it's going to be young. And that's very good news because it tests for G. So that is definitely great, which is great news. That one we do have the L, so it still could be bluff or plump. We'll come back to it. This one can't be grain. So it's got to be brain, hasn't it? Used my brain to get that, which is nice. We've got both of those two. This one's going to have an R first or third. Porky, possibly, but definitely not confident enough to go for that. This one's got the W in third. So it's lowly, I suspect. Yeah, it has to be lowly, doesn't it? Now, we still haven't tried the O in third. That's a bit annoying. It's got to be soothed, though, hasn't it? I'll come back to that one. Now, this one, S-T-A-L, could be stall or stalk. That's a bit unfortunate that I can't guarantee that one. This one has to be sling. We've got all five letters. Uh, right, this left-hand one, E-U-R-S, 
feels like it's going to be purse, but the fact that nothing has gone green yet uh, is frustrating me and making me a bit nervous to go for it. So we'll come back to that one. This one, I'm glad I didn't go for diced because it's definitely dicey. You can see that's now gone green. So we can go back to the top and go through them again. This one can still be plump, but it can't be bluff. We ruled out the B. Do I want to go for plump, even though I've only got two out of five letters? Not yet. I'm pretty confident about that, though. That might be the next one that I take a step at. I've got those two. This one I'm still thinking porky. But I'm definitely going to go for plump first, because that will also confirm whether it's a P. What about this right hand one here? We've only got I, E and L, and the L can't be first. So, pixel. I'm pretty confident that has to be pixel, and that's really good news. Now we've definitely got the P tested. P, L, U. That's got to be plump, hasn't it? With three, I still don't know what this is. Uh, well, actually, I do. It's going to have to be skill, isn't it? Because we've ruled out every other letter from being second, apart from the Q, Z, F, B, J, and K. So it's definitely going to be the K out of that lot, isn't it? Oh, but it can't be skill, because we've ruled out the L. So I think skiff. But actually, I'm a lot less confident about that now, so we'll come back to it. This one... Oh, we could have a duplicated O, couldn't we? It could be roomy. We haven't ruled that out. Or for me. I think that's the only other thing that is vaguely likely, and I don't think that's likely at all. So I'm almost certainly going to go for roomy for that one. We've got those two. Have I gone for the K yet? I haven't. Ah, but the L is green in both of those last two columns, so it's definitely stall. That's good to know. We still haven't confirmed that the O is third for that one, so we'll come back to it. Now this one. We've got the S, R, E, U, and P. And it has to start with the P. So it is going to have to be purse, as I said. How are we doing? We've still got two errors allowed. We've got three to go and two... Uh, sorry, three to go and five possible guesses. So that's two areas of leeway. So we can jump back up to number three. I'm still thinking skiff. This one... The R is definitely first, because we just ruled it out from being third, so it's got to be roomy, surely. And then this one, we have now tried the O in third. Finally, we can be 100% certain that it is soothe. I still think that's spelled wrong, but that's fine, because surely we're guaranteed to succeed. Now we've got three guesses to get this one word. It's got to be skiff, hasn't it? It is. So that is the set of cordial. Let me know if you enjoyed that. Let me know if you want to see it on the channel again. Thank you for watching and bye for now.